your boy structure deck from having back with another video and um this is i think my first uvo unboxing with uh the new webcam which is i think like three or four months old now but i wanted to do one of these for a while just kind of let you guys see what i liked as a kid and uh five g's wait yeah i think it was five g's the one with, with jaden yuki that's gs that's gs five d's was the one after GS, but um, GS was the one I liked a lot, and um, Slifer, Obelisk, Ra was it Raw? Raw the Winged Dragon, Slifer the Sly Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentor Dragon, and Raw the the Sky Dragon, I believe. Um, no, I just said it, the Winged Dragon. Um, I was always a big Slifer fan because Jaden was was a uh, Slifer. He was red. So this is a, something I thought I would do. It's not if you look at um let's see E not worth a ton. Uh, it's pretty bad when the box is worth more than any single card within the pack. Like that's that's very abnormal, but. We're going to let it rock just because I hope I get Slifer. He's one of the monster cards in here. It's actually only about 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, about 19 to 20 uh, monster cards in here. So we're going to come back after the uh, bump and then we'll see what's up. Let's see if we can get a couple. I'm going to think I'm going to do, there's six packs in here, I believe. Let me see. Um, yeah, I don't know how many packs there are. We'll try to do three packs. Here. Okay, so apparently, um, there's not packs per se, it's just a whole deck. So I bought a deck of cards, I guess, which I didn't know what a structure deck was until right now. But evidently, everything that's on here in this box is included in the, um, the thingy. So, <laughs> for people... That don't know, I guess I'll maybe upload this for them. But I guess what you get in a structure deck is a map so you can play. You can like set a deck up, like actually play the game, which is something I never did, I believe, as a kid. If we played, it would just have been like whoever had the highest attack stat one. I'm not even sure we had maps. I think there was like one dude that had a map in our entire setup back in elementary school. So here's how here's here's the map. That's obelisk, that's raw. Uh, I don't see, uh, I mean, that's Slifer. I don't see Raw anywhere, but there's the mat. Um, I'm learning this for the first time, guys. It's, for somebody that's been a kid at UVO in a while, like, most of my life, and I'm learning about this for the first time that you guys hope this thing comes back into focus. It probably won't. Uh, yeah, so it kind of gives you direction on how it works. Tribute tokens to summon powerful new spell cards. Just awesome power of the Egyptian cards. Attack moves. A dark strategy comes in both decks. So you get cards that come in both decks. And I guess you go either Obelisk or Slifer because you want to pick a uh, you want to pick whichever is your favorite one. By the way, I see the, the haircut. Probably the nicest I've ever looked on camera. Uh, card advance plus card gets you an Egyptian card, God card, or you get different dimension capsule. You can grab monster straight from the deck and tribute three to summon obelisk. To summon slifer, you generate token monsters with your cards and tribute three summons to self summon him, which would make sense because I know Karibo was a big part of uh, Jaden Yuki's deck. You can banish cards and power up. So it kind of pretty much walks you through like the elementary parts of battling Yu-Gi-Oh. That's pretty cool. I feel like I had a map before, but I really don't know what deck would have been with because I don't remember ever buying a, uh, a structure deck before. I always bought booster packs. And then like there's the reason why I like I had to go ahead and grab some is because like there's one was standing like behind me and he's like waiting on me to hurry up and I was like, ah shit. So I felt like kind of panicked, I guess, in a sense. 
And it's kind of what made me just like say, oh, fuck it, I'll just grab something. And unfortunately, I grabbed just something. But, I mean, I like, like I said, I like GS. And I don't have, I, I may have had Raw before, but I don't remember what I did with it. But I know I don't have, never had um, Obelisk or Slifer. So it's cool to get those, I suppose, or get one of the two. I, it just kind of defeats the purpose. I think a lot of people, especially from my childhood, would want to get, like, Slifer out of a, a pool. That would feel better. It felt like you actually, like, did things, but this just feels like I kind of pretty much cheated. You got your advertisers, but we got the boy. I mean, they, they advertised him off the jump. Uh, slide for the sky, uh, sky dragon. Not sure if I can get. I need to zoom in there, but yeah, slide for uh, necessary kind of summoning cards to get him out of here. Thunder force attack, which helps him boost him. Millennium seeker, ultimate divine beast, and yeah, I mean everything that comes with that. Uh, Nine tail fox, phantom sky blaster. I mean, if you look at, if you look online, look at the start, I mean, it's going for $11. No, no, the pack went for $11. Okay. I think I paid 9 for this pack. The rarest cards, Harpies, Feather Dust, Thunder Force Attack, which I do have. It's $1.51. I mean, if you saw like the first seven cards, you could almost get your money back. Like, you would be scraping by, you could almost get it. So let's see if we got Harpy's Feather. We got ha Harpy's Feather Duster, too. So if we sold Harpy's Feather Duster, we get almost half of what we paid back for this uh, deck. That's one way to look at it. You got to look at the positive parts of it. But yeah, I, uh, I bought a starter deck. I thought I was buying packs. I spent $9, so I died really... Don't particularly want, but I did get Slifer, who is from my childhood. Uh, this is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it'd be, but what can you do? I don't want to pad the time up. I uh, hope y'all enjoy seeing me look a fool. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, I look at more on. See you. Peace.